Welcome to another training video from himpact.com. My name is Alina Miller and today I'm going to show you how to use the sort and filter feature within Excel 2010. This video will focus on utilizing the home ribbon to apply filters to a sample stats report for a high school football team. Using Excel 2010, let's begin by opening our sample spreadsheet located in our Excel 2010 samples folder. In order to open the spreadsheet from the file ribbon, click File. Click Open, click Desktop, double-click Excel 2010 Samples, and double-click the spreadsheet Excel 2010 Sample Filter Start. Here we have a spreadsheet of the undefeated Boomers football team. From the leftmost column to the right, we have the year, player names, numbers, class, yards per play, and touchdowns. Our first goal is to apply a filter to obtain a list of all players with three or more touchdowns over the last three years. To begin, let's select the year column heading. Using the mouse, select cell A5. From here, click the Sort and Filter button in the Editing group. Select the filter from the drop-down. Notice that this applies a filter box to each column heading. Next, click on the filter drop-down in the touchdown column. Click Number Filters. Select the Greater Than option. From the Custom Auto Filter dialog box, type 3 for the greater than option. Click OK. There, our first task of applying a filter to all players with more than three touchdowns is complete. Now let's apply a filter to the freshmen and sophomores with less than two touchdowns. We begin by removing the prior filter. Using the mouse, select the Touchdowns Filter drop-down box. Now, select Clear Filter from Touchdowns. The filters are now removed and we can start again. Let's apply the first filter to the Class column. Click on the Class drop-down. Select All to uncheck All Options. Select Freshman. Select Sophomore. Click OK. As you can see, the new list only contains freshmen and sophomores. Next, we need to apply the filter to the Touchdowns column. We want less than two touchdowns. Using the mouse, click on the Touchdown drop-down. Select Number Filters. Select Less Than. From the Custom Auto Filter dialog box, type 2. Click OK. That does it. Our final task of applying a filter to the freshmen and sophomores with less than two touchdowns is complete. In summary, today we were able to use the Filter and Sort feature of Excel 2010 to apply filters to our spreadsheet. Again, my name is Alina Miller. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this training tutorial from himpact.com.